Hi guys! So this is going to be an update on Aiden and I. Um, Aiden is 15 months old. He turns 15 months old on June 26th. So he's going on 16 months now, which is crazy. Um, I'll start with Aiden. He says a lot. He isn't completely clear with the words that he says, but because I'm his mom, like everyone who's like around him a lot knows what he's saying. Um, but I mean, he is only 15 months old. He's not gonna speak like a four year old. Every baby and child um, develops at their own rate. And I don't know if he's developing quickly or slowly or average. Um, I mean, I guess no baby develops quickly or slowly. Everyone just goes at their own rate. I'll go ahead and tell you guys the things that he says and does. I'm sorry I look like crap. I woke up about an hour ago. It's nine o'clock. Um, so two hours ago, actually, I got up at seven. Um, so I'm sorry that I look like crap. <laughs> He's digging in the dirt, but um, I I just got up. I had a cup of coffee and I'm just tired. I slept horrible last night. I just I'm staying at Austin's there in Havasu. I'm staying here just because Aiden likes it over here more than at my house, and I don't sleep very good outside of my bed, so I slept kind of horrible, but. Woke up about every hour, an hour and a half all night long. <laughs> but, oh well, hopefully I'll sleep better tonight. So, Aiden says mama. He says dada. He says for dog, he goes da dog. Da dog. I don't know why he puts the da first, but that's how, that's how he says dog. Um, he doesn't say kitty, but he goes ow to like meow like a cat. He doesn't get the M in there, but he says, like, ow, um, as a cat. He says, ouch. He says, hot. By saying hot, he goes, ha, ha, and he, like, puts his hands over whatever he thinks is hot, um, and pulls it away really quick and goes, hot. Um, he says, nose. He says, no. He says, for banana, he says, nana. He says mama for grandma and papa for grandpa. Um, he says, what else does he say? For bunny, he says hop hop because he, he can't get like the bunny down. Um, for monkey, he goes ah, ah, ah. <laughs> he doesn't say monkey, but he knows what it is. And for cow, he goes moo, like moo. Like, try, he tries to move, but he doesn't quite get it all the way down yet. Um, he pretty much makes, like, a sound for every, like, like, the first animals that you teach them. Like, a dog and a cat and a cow and a monkey and, what else does he know? And a horse. He, for a horse, he either goes like this, like, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, or he goes... <coughs> Like, to like try to sound like a horse, which is super cute. He knows where his head is. He knows where his nose is. He's pointing at his nose. Is that your nose? Yeah. He knows where his mouth is. Oh, he's, he's brushing his hair. He knows where his belly is, his belly button is, and he knows where, yeah, and he knows where his feet are. I'm trying to teach him right now where his ears are. Um, he kind of picks on it up on it sometimes and sometimes he forgets, but we're working on it. Huh. Huh. What? Belly button? Belly button? He is officially in swimming lessons. He goes twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and he loves that. They're 30 minutes and... Um, he loves that and I feel much better because I have a pool and there's a pool in Havasu and um, I just feel better knowing that he is in swimming lessons. Um, he's going to be starting mommy and me classes next month so I'm kind of excited for that. He'll have, you know, be able to get out of the house more. We kind of sit here a lot. There's not really much to do because he's so little. There's not many places that we can take him. 
Um, I don't know how long it's been since I updated, so I'll go ahead and let you guys know that he had his first haircut about two months ago, so I don't know if I updated after that, but he had his first haircut. Um, we got it done by our family friend, Rondolyn. She owns her own business, so she did it for us for free and she did an amazing job um, and it's already getting long again like his hair grows so fast but it still does not grow on the side of his head like he's got like peach fuzz on the side of his head and then it grows like all the way here <laughs> so I don't know he's he'll, he'll get ha he'll get hair on the side of his head eventually like he has hair on the side of his head it's just not nearly as long as the rest of it but yeah oh well um, there's more things that he says and such, but I, I can't even think of it off the top of my head when I'm this tired. Um, let me see. He knows what sit down means. He knows what, oh, he says book. He knows what the book is. He goes, book. Um, he, he knows what bye bye means. He waves hi and bye. He says hi and bye. Hi. He knows what jump means. He'll jump up and down. He knows what. Oh, he's jumping. <laughs> he knows what circles is. He do circles. Do circles. Oh, jump. You gonna jump and say jump. 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 Yay. He's so cute. He knows what circles is. He. If you say somersault, he'll bend over and put his head on the ground, but he can't like actually somersault yet. But. He thinks he does it. Sometimes I help him and I like flip him over. Um, he knows what night night means. If you ask him if he wants to go night night, he'll go no. He doesn't want to ever. And unless he's really tired, sometimes he'll say yes. Um, he no no no. Don't hit the doggy. No. No. Um, he finally lets me brush his teeth. No, Aiden. You're gonna get an ouchie. She doesn't like you to hit her with that. Um, my nose is itching. I'm sorry. Hey. Go over there. Go outside. Go outside. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh gosh. Do I have to take that from you? Yeah. Be right back. Okay, sorry he wasn't listening to me. He was hitting the dog with like his little fake spatula thing. <laughs> now he's going outside. Okay, so... Oh my god, I forgot what I was saying. He says book. He... Knows what night night means. He officially has been sleeping through the night for about six months. He goes to bed at nine o'clock and he usually gets up about six to six thirty. Hi. Oh, your bubbles? Is that your bubbles? That's really loud. It's like a little bug that you turn on and it, it like rolls around and it blows bubbles. I guess he's going to leave it on. Cute. I'm sorry, this video is all over the place, but <laughs> I'm, you know, he gets into everything here, so. Yeah. Um, there's so much more, but, like, trying to think of it right off the top of my head is hard. He knows a lot, a lot, a lot of words that he doesn't say. He's very smart. He copies everything that you do. Um, he, yeah, he's just, I, I actually have a question for you guys. If you have kids, some lately when he gets overly excited or really mad, if you take something away from him, he shouldn't have, he'll bite himself on his hand and he bit himself so hard the other day that he has a bruise and like, he never he never cries after he bites himself or anything. He just like bites himself and then he stops and he goes, ow, ow. And I'm like, don't bite yourself. Like I like I don't know why he does that. I looked it up on I like Googled it and stuff and there's a lot of other people that say 
that their child did that too. But, um, and a lot of people say that it's because, like, they want more attention, but he gets so much attention. Like, so much attention. So, I, I don't know why he does it. I don't know if he does it because he thinks he's being funny, but he only does it when he gets really excited or really mad. So, if you know, like, why he might be doing that or if your child has done that, let me know in the comments below because I'm really curious because... I don't like him doing that, like, I don't like him leaving bruises on his arm because he's biting himself. Um, that's pretty much all for him. He sleeps the night, eats pretty much anything, he, yeah, he says a lot, he, yeah. I mean, I'll be, I'm making a part two because I have to update myself, so if I, think of anything then I'll let you guys know so I'll see you guys part two which is all about me see you guys later bye